What's up guys? I just recently put this rifle back together or reconfigured it to get ready for a upcoming training that uh, Keelan and I'll be doing next month. And I figured you guys, I'd run you through the rifle build. So uh, this is one of my OG 308s that I built back in 2016 while I was still teaching down at cyber school. I was first started getting into the competition scene. So I wanted to build like a hybrid competition rifle slash what I carried as a Marine sniper, which was the M48-5. So it's got a 24 inch barrel on it to keep that same muzzle velocity that I was running with uh, 175 Sierra Match Kings. Anyways, uh, so the rifle build, the rifle is currently sitting in a KRG Whiskey 3 Generation 6 and it's got the folder. I'm a huge fan of the folder. The folder is nice and solid. Uh, it's got just a solid lockup. Uh, folders are obviously nice for cleaning and transport. I've got eight other folders and haven't had any issues with play, especially over time and usage. All my KRGs have the overmolded cheek piece. I highly recommend it, especially if you do run a KRG. Once you grab one and use one, you'll never look back. It's just super comfortable, especially when you're on the gun for long periods of time. Moving to the trigger, I've got a trigger tick diamond here in here, single stage flat shoe. Again, this is the original trigger that I put it dropped in here when Trigger Tech Diamonds first started coming out. It's probably got anywhere from 10 to 12,000 dry fires on it. This rifle has over 5,000 rounds down it uh, and I haven't had any issues. I set all my triggers to right about 10 to 12 ounces. The action is a short action customs Alpha 11, which has an integrated or integral scope rail and a integral recoil lug as well as an AW cut. So I can run AW mags, which is nice. Keep a low profile. Hadn't had any issues with the action or the bolt stop with, again, thousands of uh, live fire rounds or dry fires. So uh, it's super smooth with the nitride finish. This is topped with a Leopold Mark V 5 to 25 with the Tremor 3 reticle. A lot of you guys are gonna go crazy, ask where my call is at. This is the only optic right now I have with the Tremor 3 reticle. So the clients that we have uh, in January or running the Tremor 3 exclusively. So I wanted to make sure that I was familiar with that system. Either way, this is a really great optic, especially for the uh, for the money. A lot of top level competitors uh, that are doing really well are running this optic. I have it currently sitting in a 5001 S uh, spur. It's got a flatline ops, Halo X, and I've got a bone spur accessory. This is nice little accessory for the magnification throw lever uh, to be able to look through uh, your elevation a turret in the case that your you know magnification is set to anywhere that 14 17 so no that looks pretty pretty cool it is currently sitting with the enclosed forend without the picatinny rail up front uh, this is my first time using this i traditionally use the older version of the enclosed forend that had the integral picatinny rail that i was able to throw clip-ons up front but the downside is that I had to separately attach an ARCA to it, whereas this enclosed forend has the ARCA built in to the enclosed forend. So I will let you guys know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't know if I like to have to put a Picatinny rail M lock on here and then throw a clip on. It's just, in my opinion, more moving parts. So I might end up moving back to that older enclosed forend just for this rifle specifically. And the rifle or the barrel is a 24 inch Bart line barrel, one in 10 twist. I'm getting my 175 Sierra Match Kings right at about that 2,700 feet per second mark. The bipods that I'm running are Thunder Beast bipods. I'm a huge fan of these bipods. They're just super solid and versatile, quick deployment. You can add leg extensions, uh, but they're super lightweight as well. A nice wide footprint over, let's say like a set of Harris bipods. Those guys at Thunder Beast just make pretty good stuff. And then last but not least, I'm running a Thunder Beast Ultra 7 for this rifle. So big fan of their cans at, uh, at Thunder Beast. That is the rifle build in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I needed more, but uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, get, uh, get training with this bad Larry. So thanks for watching guys. You guys know the drill. Keep facing the gun.